What's up everyone? I'm a wolf in every game and here we are gonna play Kingdom Come Deliverance! Okay, this game is actually pretty freaking awesome. I played a couple of, of hours on it. We're gonna start a new game all together here, but we're gonna try to do a whole playthrough of this. Alright, gonna start a new playline here. And you can pretty much be anything in this game from knight to noble to, I guess, you don't want to be a peasant. You're starting off as a peasant, sort of. To rogue, to an archer, pretty much. Like, I guess you still didn't matter with the archer thing. But, anyways, yeah, we're gonna do so much in this game. My other character is pretty much, I made into a humble, honorable knight. I think my next, I think this guy is gonna be more... More of a jerk. We're gonna be... We're gonna be kind of like what I am in real life. Enjoy the visuals here. This is beautiful. So the way I'm gonna make this is I'm going to play the game continuously. But edit it out into parts. So it's gonna look weird. You'll understand when I post more about it. <coughs> the animals in my apartment are being weird. And the game map is huge, with so many different quests, so many different interactions you can do. I'm really excited to record this. Like, I just beat the tutorial, I, like I literally just finished the tutorial yesterday. It was great. The tutorial is pretty long, by the way. But that's because there's so much you can do in this game. And that is not even the end of, I guess, what you can do. The tutorial doesn't even teach you everything. God bless. Same to you. Today's a scorch. <laughs> well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Where on earth is Henry? I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour? Blue-blooded idler. Well, <laughs> do I want to be a fighter? Out all evening, drinking like a lord. <laughs> Go and get the lazy bones up then. Quick clout round the ear should do it. Mm -hmm. Oh, isn't that love? Now, there's work to be done. Get up, or I'll come get you up. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been? Oh, Henry! How many times have I told you about fighting? It's oh, nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. Oh, don't worry, it wasn't that. I, I just scratched myself is all. Mm, well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Should I be a rogue? I definitely can be in this game. So yeah, there's no character customization. I play as this dude named Henry. <laughs> a fine state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? And these parts are very important. It 
pretty much starts off your leveling. Uh, last time I put work in the forge. I want to be. Uh, want to be a little bit tanky so we can add some vitality to us. Let's do that. We're gonna be. We're gonna be a fighter. We were um, talking. Talking were you? That's what you call it, is it? Stop it, Ma. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me. And it's connected with that scratch on your hand. And that suspicious looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. And... and then this. There we go. So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above, Hal. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he gonna do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you. And you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. So I pretty much already did everything here so we're going to pretty much be able to fly through this tutorial without too much of the you know talking um so first of all let's take care of our skills so when you get these you can level up a skill i did not know that so i was ignoring these for a minute we're gonna get this one. This one lets us increase our weight carried. And... Oh, you get a point. You get your point for strength and not for vitality. Guess I gotta work on that. So yeah, these are your... Um, hold on. These are all your skills. There's a lot of skills, guys. Like... I'm gonna have so much fun. There's so much you can do. And just because, um... Yeah, pay attention to your nourishment, because then you get debuffs like hunger. And then you gotta pay attention to your energy. Everything down here is important. Everything's important. You can have... So and you can... Man, I gotta talk about this as it goes. <laughs> but let's keep going. So here, there's a ton of food. Can you just pick up everything and eat everything? I mean, don't eat everything because then you get a debuff for being too full. This game is super realistic. But here, you should pick up everything that's in here. Because it's free food. And you're going to want the food for the roads ahead. Okay, apparently I accidentally sat down. We're gonna get back up. And apparently I have a debuff on me right now. Oh, that was because I was sitting? Okay. Okay, we're gonna sit again. This is too hard. What is going on here? I just wanted to pick up the stuff over there. Okay. There we go. From what I can tell, eating out of pots, by the way, isn't stealing, so feel free to dive on into pots. But I should be full. Let me see. Yeah, I have 65. Let's... We can dive into this pot again and not be... Oh, you can only dive into the pot once? Looks like it. Well, 65 time. Try to keep it about 50, usually. Oh, look, another pot. Let's eat out of it. And there you go. Hmm. Guess I can only eat out of it once. Run over here to father. Hello, Come father. Here, I, need your help. I know you do. At least you're up. That's a start. Anyway, we've a lot of work to do today. 
I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzi, and I need your help. With what? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money, then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer, and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Kunesh? That drunkard? <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. Sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasar. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. And <coughs> ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now, work won't wait. I already have romantic interest in this game. Alright, so we got a lot to do. We are probably going to start off grabbing this. So, I know you can see how the guy looks weird. Let me, I'm gonna adjust my mic real quick. Okay, so you see how he looks weird from here? It's because the game is loading and your character's dressed in layers. So I saw every layer before walking up to him. Robbie with you. I'm with you, Henry. How are you? Father sent me. We're forging a sword for Sir Radzik, and the Chamberlain has the cross guard and grip. Father has them engraved in Sassau. Right. They're here. The Chamberlain gave them to us for you. We looked them over. Beautiful work. I've never seen anything so fine. I can't wait to see the sword. Just make sure you don't botch it. When did I ever botch anything? Where shall I start? Ah, shut up and give me what I want, or I'll kick your ass this evening. Right away, your lordship. <laughs> Magnificent. Shame I can't keep the sword for myself. Well, I'd better go if we're to get the job done by this evening. Godspeed. See you later in the tavern. You certainly will. After today's work, the ale might even be on me. All right. So, if you do that part later, like if you do everything in order, there is a different speech option that shows up. Pretty much every decision you make in this game affects something else, which is super amazing. Also, this game is actually based on realistic events. So everything in here, even from the speech, Have you recovered from yesterday's great wound? is amazing. No, it was nothing. It's all technically happened. No mother's happy when a son starts to take an interest in swords. Where there's weapons, there's death. The question is, what do you want? I don't want to rot in this hole forever. I feel like I don't belong here. I want to live and see the world. The world's a dangerous place, and I need to know how to protect. Spoken like a man. And as it happens, today's your last chance. I have to leave. So, are you ready to get stuck in? Yes. All right, I wait on the ground by the sheepfold as usual. Okay, let's go. Tip, by the way. You're gonna wanna look at the controls for this game when you start playing because from my personal experience and it was I probably didn't read everything it does not show you like with pop-up screens about how to do everything like for example how to draw your weapon I didn't know that until after a couple of fights and I died and then 
I realized I'm supposed to hit the one key to unsheath my weapon by looking at the controls. Also, since I mentioned dying, this game auto saves. You cannot save on your own. There's only one way to save on your own, and you need an item called Savior Schnapps. It is a potion. So, in other words, you're either going to hold on to your Savior Schnapps to save the game, or you're just going to keep playing until the game auto saves. So, decisions you make. They're permanent, and the things... <laughs> so don't mess up anything, pretty much, is what I'm trying to say. Be careful with your choices. So, can we get started? And don't think you can go back all the time. We can. Good. And since today's the last time we'll be seeing each other, you can show me everything I've taught you so far. <laughs> Alright, sorry, did this before, so I already pretty much know... Gonna do this, do this, and then unlock. Yeah, there you go. Should right, be done by now. Right. There we go. Not trying to hit me. You have to put your weight into your end. You just fiddle around, you get nowhere. Try slashing from different sides. Unpredictability is the key. Never repeat yourself. One slash, another slash, another slash, another slash. And slash again. I actually really like the combat in this game. But I do not like the unarmed combat, to be honest. You're gonna see in a minute, because I'm gonna do it. Spoiler alert. There you go. I was moving too slow to come for the count as chaining. Alright, that's enough. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm tired of thirst. Remember though, train hard. No one becomes a master soldier. And that's all he ever that's that's all yeah, that's all from him. When I first said that I was hoping he'd give me like a s a weapon. <laughs> Maybe a wooden sword to keep. It'd be nice. You can also steal horses in this game. These don't have saddles, so you can't take them. Ew. Stinky horse. Alright, we're gonna get into a fist fight. Most likely. We're gonna see in a second. God be with you, Kunesh. What do you want? My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. So speech is fun. Basically, depending on what's around you, what you're wearing, and how your speech level is, all that affects this. If you're dressed nice and look like a high-class person, then the nobility, the crown-looking thing there, people will most likely listen to you with digni if you're dignified. But if you're dressed terrifying, you have blood on you, then that little so crossing swords there, you looked intimidating to people. But that top one, you have a silver tongue. That's basically your speech level. Uh, oh, that's just... Oh, it's, base, it's your reputation. I'm stupid. Your reputation is if you're a good person or a horrible person. So, yeah, it affects your, it's affected by your reputation. And then you can haggle and... Whoop, this part at the bottom, I wish my mouse would hover over. 
it's really important. It lets you know what's the most effective way for you to react. Like, say, my note, my charisma skill is at 7 and the guards is at 5. I have a higher chance of doing that, of using that option other than the intimidating option. But you'll see. The game makes sense. So see, my charisma is at 7, but there's nothing for charisma. But I'm going to go with the pay, you drunkard. I must have misheard you. It sounded like you just told me to clear off. But you wouldn't be stupid enough to think you can steal, not pay your debts, and then try to scare me. Would you? I knew it was gonna fail. How dare you speak to me like that? Can your thieving father teach you? Send a fight. Manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Now the thing is, I don't know how to do that. Like, he can counter me really well. We're actually gonna back up. We're gonna swing. There we go. This is why I'm doing it. It's so I can get the level ups. Because I did this before. And I got like two or three level ups. Which was really good. For the early game, I suppose. Gotta back up. Gotta back up. Gotta back up. Did that hurt? Oh! Look at me! Oh gosh, don't get beat, don't get beat, don't get beat. I can win this. Probably gonna speed up this part. I don't know. My dogs are barking. Oh, I won. Thank you. The red bar on the, on the level of your house. So, okay, I have to read that because I couldn't remember. Let's see what my health is at now. It's at ninety. So another option I actually have is I can actually steal. Let me see what my nourishment's at. 84. If I eat this, I will be way too full. So I'm not going to do that. I'll get a debuff. My other option is to actually steal what I'm about to take out of here real quick. But I don't have to do that. Since I beat him up and took his key. You also have another option to go tell your father that he won't pay up. And, it, and he just gives you money to... Go buy the charcoal. But instead, I have to sell this stuff to go buy the charcoal now. I also needed this. Alright, we can now buy charcoal. Greetings. We need 10 of them, so let's get 10. And we need to sell. Uh, quest items, other, other. Here we go. And it actually makes you have to sell those three things. So you can get it. Or you can haggle the price down. But I'm not going to do that. Wasting time. The fight took long enough. I wish I could skip this scene, but I guess it's important to watch. Had to. He had to abduct the king. He had to lure his cousin Prokop into a trap and imprison him. He had to invade with his army of Tatars and besiege Gutenberg. Why not? What is this Wenceslas for a king? The Empire is falling asunder in his hands. The German counts elected Ruprecht of the Palatinate as king because your Wenceslas would not go to their deeds even. German counts. Traitor. Now even the Pope... God be with you, I mean. How was you, Matthew? What's going on here? Deutsche spouting shit. What? Just listen and you'll hear for yourself. Someone 
has to bring order and reunite the Empire. <laughs> what do I care about the Austrians? And nowadays, not even the devil himself can keep up with all the popes. Which is the rightful pope? The one in Rome or the one in other Rome? Do not blaspheme, Alex. No, it's true. All real places. Us is the king of Bohemia. Real the people. Are on his side. To hell with Rosenberg and his cabal. This so game is for people who love history. I love medieval history, so that's why I love this game. And if he heard you talking like this, he would have you whipped like a dog. Your deal will soon have nothing left to rule. Jobs had to sell Luxembourg to help your king. South Bohemia is with Sigismund. And don't forget about Gutenberg, where Germans like you kissed Sigismund's feet to keep their heads. Yes, but Goodman Deutsch, this is pointless. Let us talk of more pleasant things. My words exactly. Deutsch has gone too far. Wenceslas is our rightful king. Deutsch is an idiot. But what can you do? I might have an idea. Deutsch deserves to be taught a lesson. Doesn't he, Fritz? Too I Matthew. You should give him a proper hiding. Are you mad? Do you want to end up in the pillory? Don't listen to Fritz. I've got a better idea. Deutsch was talking such shit, it made me think of that huge pile of manure. You know, the one right next to his freshly whitewashed house. <laughs> you think we should redecorate for him? Count me in. Well, I'd rather torture, to be honest. But, doing some turds will do. What do you say, Henry? But I was going to get ale for my father and a, a few other things. We're finishing Saratik's sword. Look at my clothing. Throwing a few handfuls of manure is not going to take all day. And it's our duty to defend the honor of our king. So, how? Are you with us? So, in my other playthrough, I said no to them. So, we're going to say yes this time. And see what happens. Get something new for both of us. No whole reason I'm saying yes. This time also has to do with future events. Oh well. Father can wait a while. <laughs> My words exactly. I knew you wouldn't miss out on all the fun. Let's go. Baby will come. There they are. Where are they? Where are they? <laughs> Discuss the plan of attack. So are we doing this or not? Wait. We have to check that the coast is clear. Why? Deutsch is in the tavern. But maybe you noticed after all these years that he has a wife and a son. And that's a problem? Aye, it is. Henry, you go and lure her away somehow. Why me? <laughs> because you're the clever one. Yeah. Okay, let's be our Lori's wife away. What do you want, lad? I just went by the tavern and your husband was in there talking nonsense. I thought someone should take him home before he gets himself in trouble. What sort of nonsense? Well, uh, well, he kept saying that Sigismund was right and King Wenceslas is a drunkard, that sort of thing. Some people took exception, so I thought... God almighty, the fool. Next thing he'll start on about the popes. He might have mentioned the popes too. Thank you for telling me. I just hope I can catch him before he gets into another fight. Well, that was easy. Oh, the game saved. So gross. What are you waiting for, soldier? Fire the 
Ricochet. For king and country. For king and country, my ass. This is all good, clean, fun. <laughs> Nearly as good as having that traitor in the pillory. Nearly. Now that would be sweet. <laughs> That's for Sigismund. Woohoo! Eat shit, doshes. You bastards! What the fuck do you think you're doing? <laughs> hey, Hans. Can't you see? We're decorating your house for you. It's like your old man was saying in a tavern about that traitor Sigismund. We're just doing what we have to do. Horse hunt! Let's make those smiles off your faces! Oh, I'd like to see you try. What are you doing here, Spizek? Hanging out with this foxy Deutsche? Maybe you'd like to try out the latest German fashion. Oh! <laughs> That was a good Fuck shot. It. I'll make you pay for that. Time to get more fight. All right, fist fighting, real thing here. Let's do this. Oh, he has a weapon. What's the matter? Come on. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Get my tail handed to me here. Oh, he gave up. Uh-oh. Time to run. <laughs> well, that was actually really fun. It's like being a little ne'er-do-well. <laughs> Good save, my lovely. You're looking well today. <laughs> you too, handsome. What brings you here? Your beauty, of course. Yes, it does. <laughs> oh, noble sir. I'm as honored as any simple maid can be. And apart from my beauty, what else might your worship desire? I'm gonna step away for a moment after I click this, just because my dogs want to go out. Let me take care of that. I need ale for father. A pitcher as usual. Hi. Bring me a cool one from the cellar. <laughs> but of course. Here you are. Thanks. It's a me today. <laughs> You can pay me back this evening. Out of the question. Here you go. And this evening I'll have something more for you. <laughs> I can't wait. Thanks. You'll have something to look forward to this evening. <laughs> you too. Oh, um, by the way, that shifty looking fellow was asking after you. Manny. Then come in. I suppose. He's the man who makes his coin robbing on his way Paris. I'm sure of it. I'll be happy when he's gone for good. But what in heaven's name are you up to with him? He promised to teach me how to use a sword. What use would that be to you? Enough. You sound just like father. I'll be going now. See you this evening. How? I've got something special for you. Is that so? Now what would that be? Your favorite, save your schnapps. Really? You're an angel. <laughs> I hope you'll thank me properly later. You bet I will. I like how the save your schnapps has a picture of a floppy disk on it. Alright, I believe that's everything I needed. Well, we sorted that Deutsch out. <laughs> that was pretty close, eh? That old bastard didn't stand a chance. True, but I'm worried that fucker Hans will snitch on us. Well, let him. Then I'll snitch on him. And anyway, what can they do to us for throwing a bit of dung? Good point. It's not as if anyone really likes the Deutsch. Is 
It's a good thing your hunker warned us. Well behaved girl like that. I'm surprised she didn't call the catch pole. She must have seen Matthias. What do you mean? Because he fancies her. And I think maybe she likes the look of him too. <laughs> Shut up, you idiot. <laughs> anyway, nice job at the Deutsches. This is that new stuff to me. Moment with you lot. <laughs> okay, let's go bring our father the stuff. And we're good. This isn't the end of the tutorial, by the way. The tutorial still goes on for a good while. I'm really hoping I don't have to split it into multiple parts, but I might have to. Might just put the tutorial with the first part of the, you know, real game. Uh, I'm gonna do this real quick. See, we got another main skill here, so I can pick up these things. Uh, let's see. One of these I really did like. Hmm. We're gonna go with Scout. And... Nope, I don't have any points to add in the unarmed stuff or anything else. I don't think I have anything else to add. Nope. Okie dokie. My reputation has gone down. <laughs> and the game acts in real time. So if you walk away from anything, it literally... I do. Charcoal, the hilt, and the ale. Okay. We can start. Good job. Let's it will literally start. like have things oh, ha progress without you being there. So you may want to actually go from quest to quest. Look at that lad. Well, that's what I call craftsmanship. What does the inscription mean? Damn if I know. Doesn't look like Czech to me. Latin, maybe? Lord Radzig ordered it. This will be the finest sword I've ever made. Have we got the charcoal? Good. And fire up the forge. We'll put it all together. By the way, someone paid me a call. I reckon you might know what it was about. I'm not sure. Really? Because I'm pretty sure you and your friends threw dung at Deutsch's freshly whitewashed house. He was here with the catchpole earlier, and it was not a friendly visit. What got into you, Hal? That Deutsch was talking treason in the tavern about Sigismund and the King. He got what he deserved. He got what he deserved, did he? You can go and clean up the mess you made, and apologize to him. I have a trade to run. The German pays well. And having my son in the pillory helps nothing and nobody, least of all the king. You understand? Yes. Look me in the eye, Henry. Do you understand? I understand. Good. Then we'll never have this conversation again. So you think it's right to let traitors speak ill of our king? The boy gets caught making a fool of himself, and he still hasn't learned his lesson. So Deutsch spouts rubbish and war. You turn into a common thug. That's what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be a thug. You might win a fight with violence, but you never win an argument. Remember, Henry, if you want to convince someone that they're wrong, try using your mouth and not your fists. I will attempt that, Father. But when my mouth doesn't work, I will cut their throats. Right, we'll do the grip. I 
I'll heat it up, and when I take it out, you slip the grip on so it fits exactly. You know what you're doing. I feel like blacksmithing in this game is going to be kind of complex. Since you're really, literally like making things from scratch. Is that like gather these, put it together. Good. It's like do this at the right time, do this right. That's it. Same thing with um, making potions. Now file it down so it sits well in the hand. I'll prepare the guard. Father, why did you leave Prague? Who ever heard of a master swordsmith making horseshoes in a village? <laughs> I had my reasons, Hal. And here, I have your mother and you. Why would I want any other life? Do you remember Emperor Charles? I do. Life was good under his reign. Better than now. He built half of Prague, a score of castles, had a bridge made over the Moldau, and founded a university. And all without a war. He knew how to win. Better than Wenceslas. Better by far. But Wenceslas doesn't have it easy. It's hard to step into the shoes of someone whose life is born only once a thousand years. What about Sigismund? You think Charles would have brought an army down on his own people like Sigismund? No. Wenceslas may not be the equal of his father, but Sigismund, he brings shame to the royal name. How's it going? Give it here, and we'll put it all together. Father sent me for those nails. Good day to you, Teresa. They're ready. Will you fetch them for me, Hal? They're in the trunk in the living room. So you could have actually picked the nails earlier and I forgot to. But you can also sell those nails. So I didn't want to make that mistake too. Let me check what my nourishment's at. I'm at 80 still. Okay. All right. You also got a potion in there too. That will do. Go and get those dumb nails. I got the nails, father. Nails Thanks. So how's Bianca? Um. She's fine. Why do you ask? Just wondering. Will you be going to the dance this evening? We will. Maybe we'll see each other there. Anyway, mustn't keep you. I'll be on my way. That sword is truly beautiful. Mmm, checking her out, huh, Henry? Fine last, eh? Now, stop staring at her and come and see this. It's time for the trial by fire. <laughs> we did a fine job. I would expect nothing less from such a renowned swordsman. Those days are gone, sir. Hmm. You haven't lost your skill, friend. Would you like to try it? Sir, what good is a sword to a commoner? Let try it.
Such weak swings, Henry. <laughs> we still have a lot to learn. Ask your father to show you how. He knows what he's about. Learning his trade will serve him better in life, sir. Perhaps. But who knows what the future holds for each of us. I see that you almost have it finished. It just needs a polish, then Henry will bring it to you. Excellent. Fine work, very fine. A sword such as this will bring honor to its bearer. What say you say, Isvan? True, Sir Radzik. If I'd have had its like back in Nicopolis, things would have worked out differently. How odd to find such an accomplished swordsmith working in a place like this. A man of his talent would have no problem making a fortune in Prague or Vienna. You're right. It's a very long and peculiar story. I'd be glad to listen to it over a cup of wine, but duty calls, and I must leave. Here you are. Learn from your father. He truly is a master of his craft. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Exactly. Ready, send your son up to me with it. Good work, Martin. Sure. It's been an honor, say. Have a safe journey to Sassy. The honor is mine, Sir Radzik. Thank you for the hospitality. A long, peculiar history. That was a long time ago. I might tell you about it sometime, but not today. Will you teach me how to use it, like Sir Radzik said? Why? It could come in useful. Maybe I'll travel a bit before settling that down. I'd like to know more than the tavern on the green in the forge. You know the trouble with an adventurous life, sir? It can end before it gets started. I might teach you how to handle a sword. And then someone will shoot you with a crossbow as soon as you set foot outside the house. Talk as if you've seen it happen. A man my age has seen a lot. Being a blacksmith might bring no glory, but it has its benefits, like keeping your head on your shoulders. I want to end my days in Scalitz, here, beneath the linden tree, and by your mother's side. Well, so do I, one day. But first, I'd like to see the world, meet new people. Meet them, or beat them. Meet. You have to keep going on about it. And you've no need to learn swordplay. Sorry, I forgot to move my phone there. The messenger. He was in a hurry. What's happened? Get real here, boys. What I say right now. Give the sword to Sir Radzik. If anything happens, he'll take care of it. He owes me. This 
some epic and beautiful cutscenes here. Doctors again crashed. What? Okay, thanks. <laughs> I only need to be known told when I have a virus. Okay, jump down from the wall. See, you need to listen to parts like that because... I ran down the whole trail. They want it's faster to actually jump all the way down. You get away faster. See, it's all about how you play the game. There's different ways to pass these things, apparently. Okay, we're not supposed to stop here. I just want to make sure that's equipped. So I did not notice I really had the sword last time. So I can actually run. I can actually unsheath a sword and fight. See, it wants me to go down from here instead of just running down the entire trail. And it's so much faster this way. Like, oh my gosh. Because the first time I did it, I ran to soldiers. Okay, I didn't know that about the other bar. Oh gosh, I forgot how to... Helped her get away from those rapists and now I'm out. Okay. Controlling the horse is really confusing for me. It gets a little nauseating. Well, let's gallop. Why won't you gallop? There we go. Because you control two like two different cameras, and that really bothers me on this horse. On the horse. And this part isn't easy either. This is tutorial still, by the way. Be ready to run. Like, I already have my fingers on shift and W. <laughs> the game does not have an easy mode. <laughs> I love it. This is such a good game. Like, even playing through this again... Oh my gosh, why do I keep falling into this? Did I just get hit, like, by that guy trying to swing on me? Oh my gosh. So every time you get hit, you lose stamina, too? So, just about to make it really hard. Come on, horse. Come on, horse. Gallop! Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. 
my horse won't gallop. All right, I think this is a good time to end this video since I just died horribly. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want to see more about Kingdom Come Deliverance from me, a wolf in every game, please make sure to subscribe and also follow me on Twitter. Um, one day I'll be streaming this game on YouTube, maybe on Twitch, depending if my PC can handle doing both, but it might be just YouTube. Um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I probably already said that, but bye-bye.